Okay, I'm just going to take you through some of the changes that we're making to uh, the Burp Suite Inspector. So first of all, what is the Inspector? It's basically a collapsible side panel that's available uh, in the uh, message editor next to request and response views, and it provides a way to analyze and manipulate the messages that you send. So just to be clear, um, we're talking about this bit of the interface. So what does it do? It allows you to view and edit request data in tables. So we can edit them in line at this top level view. And we can also go into a drill down view uh, to see more data. Um, it offers inline decoding features. So these appear when you select text in the editor. And once you go in the drill down view, if you have uh, an encoded value there, it will automatically decode it for you. And it's an area where we're going to utilize uh, for future tools of wizardry. Uh, one such feature lately uh, being the tool that we introduced for James's HTTP2 research. So what's happening with the inspector? Uh, before we released it, we had some assumptions on what the reception would be like. Uh, we knew it would be very varied and it would be like Marmite. Some people love it, some people hate it. Um, and this is because it introduced a new workflow for users. Uh, by removing tabs that they previously used into uh, the contextual side panel. Um, users don't like change, we know that pretty much. Um, and uh, we felt important features were missing from the MVP, such as the ability to resize it, uh, to be uh, able to dock it to the left and so on. So once we released the inspector, we had some great feedback on Twitter. Uh, people were loving the decoding features that we added to it and stating that we made their lives easier. Uh, but on the op opposite spectrum of that, uh, people missed the old headers and hex tabs. They wanted the inspector be, to be resizable, and they'd rather have it on the left. Uh, the best tweet that we received was in response to DAF's video uh, of the new office, which juxtaposed the new office with the repeater UI, showing the request, the response, and the inspector lobbed onto the side. Uh, even better was DAF's reply, uh, saying that looks fantastic, we'll get the builders in. So I think uh, planning permissions going ahead for that. Um, so following uh, the launch, we reached out to the Twitter rebels. And we conducted interviews with some of those individuals. Uh, we did a survey and we collated all of that along with telemetry uh, to form the strategy that we were gonna move forward with. So the key insights that we gained from the feedback was that the inspector was too far away. Uh, on the right, you can see a screenshot which was from uh, user feedback, and they felt the need to add a banana to it for scale. Um, for some users, uh, if they had the inspector closed, it would be one to two extra clicks. So one click to open the inspe inspector, a second click to open the widget uh, in which they wanted to view. Some users just didn't have the screen real estate for it. Um, we've got users on very small laptops, uh, as it turns out. Other users just wanted the tabs back and uh, users also wanted more features such as being able to decode JSON web tokens. So I'll just run you through a prototype that addresses a lot of those changes and helps speed up the user workflow. So if I open the inspector, uh, we've made some immediate changes to the interface, uh, just simple things like grouping um, counters so that there's a consistent area for those. At the top, we've got some inline options so that we can dot the inspector to the left or to the right. Uh, we've got an expand all feature, which opens all the widgets that contain data. So as you can see here, if we close the inspector and open it, we're starting to get to a state where the workflow is faster and we haven't got to keep opening widgets all the time. We've got a collapse all. And we've also introduced a wrapping feature at the widget level so that cells are wrapped. Uh, and that means that it's easier to access and edit the data with an inline feature that we've already got live. Um, so we're starting to get somewhere with this, uh, but we can do more things to help users with their workflow. So we've introduced a configuration dialog where users can select the widgets and reorder them in the order that they'd like. We can choose whether or not to show or hide the widgets. Uh, widgets can be opened by default so that we don't have to manually open them. And we can set which widgets we want to wrap text by default. So imagine we want to set request cookies to be always open. Let's hide response headers and let's set all of the widgets to wrap. We can choose the position of the inspector. So let's dock it to the left and let's set it so that it's always closed by default. So when I next open a tab or send uh, a request into repeater, this will be my default view. And when I open it, I'll get the request cookies widget open 
and the cell data will automatically be wrapped. But we could still do more. So we can also take the available widgets in the inspector and also add them back in as tabs in the editor, which is where the real power of this comes in as the user can start to configure their, work, their own workspace. So we can turn on headers, params, cookies, and attributes and save that. And as you can see, they now appear in the message editor. The advantage of this is that we're using the inspector widgets themselves rather than going back to the old view, meaning that we can auto wrap cell data. They have the decoding features at the drill down view. And you can also view the view as a table with the inspector open with the inline decoding uh, available. So what we've done is we've allowed uh, the user to configure their workspace so that uh, all the workflow is available within one banana. Um, so the work for this uh, is due to go live in a week or two for phase one. Uh, the guys are working uh, really hard on it and uh, we hope this is gonna make a, a good impact.